All right, it's only a few ingredients. Mix with some love, and it makes for a tasty treat. Get your butter ready. Today, we're making toffee. Well, what are we starting off with here in the pot? Because those are the biggest sticks of butter I have ever seen. It's a lot of butter. We've got uh, about two pounds of butter. <laughs> so butter is a key ingredient in toffee then? Really, in any food, let's be <laughs> honest, right? So after we melt our butter, what ingredients make up good toffee? Um, a lot of butter, mm -hmm. a lot of sugar. <laughs> All the um, good and stuff. It, it is, it's all the great stuff. And it really, at this point, I melt it all down until it starts boiling. I don't use a thermometer or anything. It's all about texture mm -hmm. and color and smell when you know it's done. And then it's done because if you overdo it within oh, 10 yeah. seconds, it's like burnt. So when you said you've been doing it for three years, you really have perfected the process of making it to getting it to where you can recognize where you're at that texture so you don't overdo it. Yes, and that actually is a lot of people that taste it, um, they're like, gosh, it doesn't stick to my teeth. And I think it's because of the way that we cook it. Oh, really? That's one thing I, I hated about having toffee as a kid <laughs> is it always gets stuck in your teeth. Yeah. But yours doesn't get stuck in your teeth? From what everybody tells me when they taste it, it's one of the first things they say. All right, so you got your butter done. Got the butter in ready. the sugar. So how long after you put the sugar in there to we know when it's time to go to the next ingredient? Um, it bubbles to the point where you could be burned very bad. Oh, so this is going to boil like you said, right? Yeah, okay. it's going to boil up pretty well. But what's coming up next here? Do we need the, the almonds or the... Uh... We'll be doing the almonds. Okay. So in our toffee, we are different from a lot because we do chocolate both sides. Okay. We use whole almonds in the center, not just the slivers of almonds. So it gives it a real roasty flavor. And uh, then we do crushed walnuts on each side as well. You haven't stopped stirring from the moment you started here. I know. You're still going. I am. Are you tired? I'm kind of getting tired for you, yes. So when you make a typical batch, what's the size that you usually make? We make about 14 pounds at a time. So we started off with two one-pound stick of butter. So how, many, how much butter is that when you make the big 14-pound block? That's a good math problem. Come on, how much are we gonna make here then? I have to know the variables right before my algebraic mind kicks in. Come on now. This will be about eight pounds. Eight pounds? Okay, so if we double that, we get 16, which would be four sticks of butter. So do you use three sticks of butter? Four sticks of butter? Possibly. There we go. See, she's trying to be secret, but we're figuring it out here, folks. This is the investigative Better Kansas City report. You are so good. So what did you just add in there? I was, I was trying was to make our, a pithy joke. That was our vanilla. Vanilla. So we've got everything in here. and We're mixing it up. What's the next step after this? Or? We'll pour it in our pan okay. and spread it out so that it's not too thick. So then we'll let this cure and we'll put the chocolate and walnuts on. I was told there would be no math in that segment. But uh, coming up a little bit later, we're going to add that chocolate and walnuts and make some delicious toffee. All right, welcome back to Better Kansas City. Now, while many of the ingredients are sugar and butter and chocolate and all the great stuff, right? The key to Cedar Street coffee is a lot of love and walnuts. So that's a little different technique there. You ladle it up with, uh, with the spatula. Everybody has their own technique. No, you have your own, own thing. I've got a couple of moms that help me in the kitchen during the week, and we all do it differently. Oh, OK. And then once you get it on there, do you just spread it? Uh -huh. Can I try to spread it? Yeah. All right. So just a nice even consistency around the top is what you're going That's for. That's right. Now, is this chocolate going to cover the whole thing? It should. Oh, boy. I kind of feel like we got to turn it a little bit here and go this way a little bit more. Sure. You're doing great. All right. See, eventually, it's going to get all the way over here. I want this to be one of your best pieces of toffee ever. We should auction this off. I don't know. Nobody's going <laughs> to bid on it, though. That's the problem. Sure they would. This can be one of the ones that you give to the neighbors <laughs> you don't like. <laughs> oh, Bill made this. <laughs> That's funny. Is, is that, or am, I, am I getting close here, or? You're doing great. Okay. You don't want any bald spots, because then it gets tacky. Oh, no, no bald spots. Bald is bad. Bald is beautiful. That's right, both. But, but on toffee, But on toffee, so bald is not so good. <laughs> I'm gonna make sure everything's covered. Okay, now we're gonna add on the walnuts. You wanna do that? Sure. Can I just move this out of the way here? Okay. Uh -huh. So just take a handful and okay, spread so this it is... around like a fertilizer. Oh, okay, so. <laughs> Sound effects help. Yeah, you, if you make the sound effects, it probably <laughs> makes it taste better too. It okay. does. That's how you know it's made with love. It right? is made with love. See, mm -hmm. you're getting it. See, closer, so I don't want to do it too much. I'm gonna, uh, see, I got a little heavy there. It's okay. It's okay. 
There's no mistakes, just different outcomes. There we go. See? That's a good life lesson right there. There's no mistakes, just different outcomes. Who knew we were going to be so inspired? I thought we'd just come here to make coffee, but no. <laughs> life lessons with Teresa today. Oh, I like that. We should do a weekly we segment. Do, the podcast starts next week. Um, if you want to be a sponsor, talk to her. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let's Perfect. See. All right, we spent all this time making the toffee around the corner. We're finally going to get to eat some, and I'm hungry for it already. Welcome back to Better Kansas City. So, Bill, we've seen you mm -hmm. melt the butter and the sugar. Yes. Spread the chocolate and mm -hmm. the walnuts. We're getting ready for this top. You getting hungry yet? I mean, I've been hungry all morning. All right, yeah. we're almost ready to eat it, but first, we have to package it. We made our toffee, we poured it, we've busted it up in all these little pieces now. Before we can eat it, we have to package it, right? Correct. So, let's work on that. How do we get started? So, once it's all broken up, we take out our measuring mm -hmm. weight, we make sure that we're zeroed out with we minus the bag. Sure. Minus the bag. So we're, we're, we're doing very, very precise measurements yes. here. Okay. We're going to do half pounds today. Ooh, all right. This is my toffee scooper. It's also <laughs> known as a French fried guy. <laughs> but you do what you can, right? Hey, you, you make do with what works, right? Right. Okay. You want to make it eight ounces. Pretty close. Do you want to finish that off and sure. see? So. Boom. Okay, then once we make 12 of these, mm -hmm. we come over to our fancy machine. It's and it kind of. Like a heat seal or something? Or? It is a heat sealer, and it's, oh. I don't know, kind of reminds me of when they would do those crayon things on <laughs> Sesame Street. Yeah. I will. And we typically have a little catcher down there. Yes. And I'll there seal you that go. And ready to go. So I do want to do one more, and then I want to try one. Let's see if we can. Oh, I think my scoop might be a little large here. Hold on. Let's see where I we're at here. Not. Ooh, where was it? Ooh, off. Just, a, just a little bit here. Let's, let's add a few more pieces in. Doop. Doop, doop. A little more. We don't want to skimp anybody. Well, that might be a little too much, though. Hold on. <laughs> Seven. Come on, six tenth of an ounce. There we go. Is that yeah, good enough? All right. Yeah, go for it. Just make sure to catch it at the end. All right. Don't you worry. I'm not going to let the toffee run away. So the first year, once we got this commercial space, we did, we tripled our business. Mm -hmm. Last year, we doubled, and we're scheduled to double again this year. Which is very exciting. You got it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right there. OK. We made the toffee. We smashed the toffee. We packaged the toffee. Now we're going to taste. And now we're going to eat the toffee. Oh, yeah. You guys, I ate so much of that, it was, it's not even funny. Like, we took a pound of half of it home, and it's all gone already between my wife, my two kids, and I. We ate through everything. The dark chocolate is fantastic, and like I said, I probably ate through at least a pound and a half of the semi-sweet chocolate. It was... Anyway. Words cannot describe, no. but he did bring some <laughs> in to us here at KCTV5 for a moment, and so I got to try it again. The sugar really coming through. You did a good job, where Bill. I you made us proud. Where I did not share my peanut butter and chocolate Oreos from this morning, I did share the toffee, toffee. here a few weeks ago yes. when we actually shot the segment. But uh, mm -hmm. Teresa is awesome, and that, uh, that, oh, it's fantastic. I'm going to leave mm -hmm. it at that. Mm -hmm. All right.